all right welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be watching the conjuring 2 now how is there a second one how is this one based on a true story too i i'm sure we're gonna find out in the very beginning it's it will tell us if it is or not i honestly really hope patrick wilson is back in it because he gave me comfort in the last movie because he, he's the only actor i recognized the entire movie every single time he was on screen i just felt so comfortable so i hope he's in this one him and lorraine i really hope they're back i'm sure they will be but i'm just put i'm just putting that out there so but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this movie if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well as early access to the next horror movies that i do will also be available on patreon or youtube membership so click the join button down below but anyways let's get started see if we could confirm the activity that had been reported by the lutzes okay we ready envision yourself in a halo of glowing white light it will protect you <sighs> a young man named ronnie defeo had brutally murdered his entire family in this house <laughs> we'd hope to discover if the killings had been motivated purely by anger or if he had been under the influence of something demonic. I like how she's able to do this. It's cool. Mm. What did oh you do? Damn. Yeah, you just realized, huh? Mm. Lorraine, what has happened? I have to see. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's the nun. I know the nun's like connected. Oh my fuck. Bro, you gotta stop making her do this shit. I know she she does she wants to do it herself, but like, come on, dude, you're gonna give her a goddamn heart attack. This is as close to hell as I ever went again. Yeah, I'm retiring on the spot after that. Diabolical cases based on the true story. All right, this one's a true story too. Okay, cool. Glad to know that. Nice change of pace. Ooh, we're in London. She was smoking for middle. Shut up! You were such a liar, Johnny! Mom, you Dude, all I hear is Hermione right now. Hmm. Oh, what are you doing? It really works, I swear. We already asked it all sorts of stuff. My sister and I want to know. Is dad ever coming home? It's just a stupid game. It's gonna move. Oh. Hmm. Oh, oh, she's in a different. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Hmm. No one's there. Oh, why are you pounding on? Dude, it's the subtle ones like that that get me. You know, and like they do a good job of timing the loud noise when it's completely silent. Because if it's if it's silent for too long, then you know it's coming. They have a perfect amount of time whenever it's dead silent to where it gets you. Like they time that really well. Well, it's been well established that Amityville was a blatant hoax, but that has well, never been proven. The, uh, yes, it has. The wow. We see this all the time. It's very easy to sit on the outside and pick apart their story, but it's something very different to have been there and experienced it for yourself. <laughs> What exactly are you a doctor of, anyway? I'm trying to show a little class. I'm not going to show <laughs> class of somebody who's sitting here telling lies about my wife and Be me. Be careful who mm -hmm. you call a liar. What are you going to do about it? Oh. it? Tries to undo everything we've done. Could you please take I a know, breath? I know, I know, I know. I'm counting ten. Yeah, that would be insanely frustrating. Dude, I swear to God, if this kid goes outside, I swear to God. God ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. It's none of your business. This is my house! Oh! No, go away! What are you doing here? Playing a game with Billy! Who are you talking to? You have to go away! You're the one trespassing! Oh, Janet, wake up! Dude, I'd be so freaked out if I was a sister right there. Just watching Janet do that. I, I would not be able to go back to sleep after that. Stay away 
from Billy. Oh my. Leave us alone, you idiot. Shut up, what you. Mm, the f Dude, she was so close right there. Oh my god. I'm gonna wake everyone in this fucking house up. Dude. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, I'm getting sweating right now. Dude, she can turn it off. It's gonna be right there. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much right now. Oh, okay. She didn't turn it off. Okay. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't turn that shit off either. Okay, now it's gonna get the kid. I saw it. <laughs> oh my god, I, I hate this. Oh. Dude, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Dude, no. No, there's gonna be nothing. There's gonna be nothing. Dude, you don't even understand how bad my legs and my palms are sweating right now. Mm. Yeah, they're gone now. Nothing. You just had a bad dream. That's all. Mm. Go to your room. Yeah, what about homeboy sitting in the chair in the living room? He's like an old man. Oh my god. <sighs> There's Janet. No, 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 no. Okay, it's daytime. Okay, okay, that was a good transition. Okay. She could just feel somebody in that chair. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, bro, they're Janet. They're they're trying to watch their own. My house. Oh, my fucking God. I had this crazy dream. Saw this thing. We're back with Ed and Lorraine. Okay, I can calm down. Yeah, so. Why are you painting that? Yeah, it's stuck in his head. Okay, yeah, okay, like I was trying to say earlier, that's the nun finally made their appearance. Also, I have no idea what order I'm supposed to watch the Conjuring, Annabelle, and the nun in. I think we're just gonna do the entire Conjuring, then do Annabelle, then do the nun or something. We can still do the lectures, but no new cases. At least not for a little while. Could I ask why? Because if it's the TV shows and the publicity. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> like that wasn't even scary. That was just like the movie's doing a lot better job at just like simple shit like that. Oh, what are you doing that for? In case I go sleepwalking again. Oh well, yeah, she's not sleepwalking. She's like fucking teleporting. So she's gonna teleport like with her bed. Uh, oh my god. Mom. <laughs> Dude, I need a stress ball or something. Not the flashlight. <laughs> yeah, just get under the covers. Get under the covers. No, why would you have your back to the door? Uh, door open. Oh, fuck. oh my god. No, 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 no. Dude, no, 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 no. Stop. My volume is on like 5% right now. There's someone in our room! I swear to God, you're making it up! No, I keep me up! Oh! Have you two been playing with this? Taking turns, scaring the wits out of each other? No wonder I can't get a good night's sleep! Oh God, wait, wait, wait. Are you allowed to do that? Wait. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. oh the demon didn't like when you ripped the Ouija board up. Oh yeah, <laughs> go, 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 go. Thank you, thank you. Top of the bottom. There's no one there. What about? Oh no, this, this dog is gonna die. What's he doing? Oh, we've we've taught him to ring the bell when he wants to go. Oh no, he's gonna go out and die. That's cool though. That's actually really cool. Police are at our house. Well, of course they're gonna find nothing. Dude, I, honestly, I really hope. The demon attacks the police. Don't attack the police, but just have them like see it, you know? That's why we're here, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dude, okay, I love these headphones, but I'm really hating the fact right now they have spatial audio. <laughs> oh. Well, mm. there's uh, nothing we can do about that. We can. Wow. I think this is a bit beyond us. 
So they're gonna recommend Ed and Lorraine. The priest at our church is a family friend. I'll ask him to call on you. Okay, sure. I mean, yeah, honestly, what were they gonna do? Like Judy? What's oh, wrong? no, 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 Judy. No. It's, it's Annabelle. Who's that? It Ooh, oh, it's the nun. <gasps> oh, it's a paint. Oh, it's the painting. Ooh. It's the, yeah, the tree in the house from the first movie. Okay, honestly, the nun stuff isn't that scary. Like, this is honestly, eh, this is all right. Oh. And it's gonna go, who? Oh. Who are you? Oh, she's in a vision. Oh, yeah, it's Ed. I'm sorry, Lorraine. <laughs> My name's Kent Allen. We're with the uh, television news program Wide Angle. I was hoping to have a word with you about the. Uh disturbance at your home last week. I'd rather not have my business spread all over the telly, if you don't mind. <laughs> the telly. Say not twice for yes and one for no. That sort of thing. I wonder what would happen if we tried talking to it now. Please have it on TV, please, please. Is anybody there who wishes to communicate? I say again, is anybody there? I mean, uh, I mean, like, yeah, it just looks stupid on TV. <laughs> Janet? Ooh. They're gonna think she's just acting though. Sleep. Mm. And I'm talking. What is your name? You don't belong here. Get out now. Knock knock. Who's there? I'm 72 years old. Alright, so Bill died in this house. I come from the grave. How did you die? Mm. And I fell asleep and I died in a chair in the corner. Why have you come here? I like to hear them scream. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Dude, do not get up. Stay in bed. Oh my god. Bro, you do not need to investigate. Uh, that's the, the dog wants out. Oh! Oh! Oh my- oh, it's a lady, what the f- oh, oh, that was kinda corny. <laughs> oh god, what the hell? It's like stop motion, it's actually pretty cool. I thought the dog was like deforming for a second. The tea and crumpets man? His crooked soul spiraled into a crooked hell! Oh, it's Janet. Murdered his crooked family and loved a crooked love! Janet! Oh my god! No! Aww. Get out now! No, this is not your house. Yep. Now, what's your name? They're hearing it. What do you make of that voice? He sounds confused. The voice on this tape is coming from an 11 year old girl. <laughs> We'd like you to fly to London for three days to act as our unofficial eyes and ears. If it is a hoax, you just turn around and leave. But if it's not, then there is a family in London that desperately needs our help. Nothing to talk about. Honey, you heard him. He, they don't want us to get involved. Just observe and report back. There have always been cases we've turned down. There has never been a family that we refused to help. I had a vision in Amityville. It's gonna get you killed. I had a premonition of your death. Put yourself away for eight days? You saw my death? It's a warning. If we keep doing this, mm. you're going to die. Damn. No. I swear to God, if he dies. And if God is showing you my death, then he's doing it for a reason. Maybe you meant to prevent it from happening. Oh my God, he's willing to die for the cause. What a G. We don't run from fights. I respect it. He's gonna live by the sword, he's gonna die by the sword. You have to promise me that we're just there to observe. If anything turns out dangerous in any way, we're gonna tell the church and we're gonna get out. Yeah, of course, of course. Dude, how are we only an hour into this? I have been watching at least two. Alright, well now that Ed and Lorraine's here, and I think I can calm down a little bit. I'll hang them up, hoping they keep things from moving around. Has it worked? No. No. <laughs> we can hear it all night. It makes me feel like I'm not normal. You know, whatever is doing this to you wants you to feel this way. That's what makes it stronger. Okay, yeah. 
Lorraine, she's gonna help. She's gonna help. More like it's coming from behind me. Like I'm being used. Does it ever say things just to you that only you can hear? It said it wants to hurt you. Mm, Lorraine. When did it say that? Just now. Right now. Mm, Lorraine might not do this. <laughs> she might not. I think she feels for the family and the girl, but like, uh, I think Ed might have to talk her into it. If there's something here that would like to communicate with us, we're all ears. Speak up. It says it won't talk if you are looking at me like this. <laughs> Why is homeboy getting all shy now? now? Come on out and talk to us. Ed. Eddie. Edward. Ed is fine. We're not chill like that. Why don't you just leave these people alone? Because this is my house. I come here to see my family. Oh god, yeah, you can see you can see Bill in the back. It's all blurred out, but you can see him. Well, I got news for you, Bill. See, I don't care what you believe in. Mm. See this? <laughs> Help! Go! Help! Let go! Bro, that's the equivalent of him like flashing a nine or something. <laughs> I really like the way they did that. I can't explain it. My heart is telling me to believe them. I heard that voice with my own ears, but all I can sense is their own fear. I can't seem to see beyond that. That day with Camilla at school, I was holding the cigarette, but I wasn't going to take a puff, I swear. You don't give a fuck about that anymore. You're all good. Oh God, where is she? She's in the fucking ceiling! Oh my god. Mm. She. Oh god, what's up, Bill? <laughs> no! Oh, wait. Okay, I don't even know what I, don't even know what I thought that was gonna do. <laughs> uh, actually, actually, that reminds me. That reminds me. I, I got it. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Just gonna um, place this guy right here. <laughs> Hopefully, this can uh, cancel out some of this. So, Janet, oh my God, Janet, I gotta open it. Oh, uh. <gasps> <gasps> what's going on? There's someone in the cabin. <laughs> Bro, kick that door down. Come on, Ed. I saw her with my eyes. Oh, yeah. They're all back to normal where she saw it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Lorraine believes him, but she just, she just doesn't want to believe it because, you know, she doesn't want to risk Ed's life, so. But you must admit it is suspicious. You sincerely believe that she's faking everything? And what about Peggy? Oh, she's just using the whole thing as an excuse to get better housing from the council. She's already applied. Look, I'm not. No shit, she's a bro. If I hear a spoon drop in my kitchen, I'm applying for that shit. But the church can't do anything without proof. That's what we need. Okay. In the meantime, Ed and I can be spending time with Peggy and the kids because they need to be a family again. Yes. Wise <laughs> men. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and it's pretending to be Elvis with them. Cause you know, Peggy said that they love Elvis, so. Dude, Ed's such a great dude. Swear to God, if he dies, he's probably gonna die, dude. It's gonna do that, it's a disaster down there. Come on, how bad can it be? Oh, damn. It would be something, though, if we were able to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is a life beyond this. It would be historic. Just wait it out, it'll happen eventually. You'll capture it eventually. Is that why you're doing this? Because you want to be a part of it? I think helping that family is the only thing that matters. No, I'm yeah. sorry, I didn't mean that. My daughter died in a car crash several years ago. Mm. Afterwards, I started to experience things. I think she wanted to communicate with me. Mm. Mm. And yes, it would help if I knew that she was, I don't know, somewhere. He actually cares. He has good intentions. Dude, don't go in that water, bro. No. Ah, Jesus Christ. Bro, and you're doing this on your own free will, too. What a great guy. It's right here. Mm. 
<laughs> oh, she has Bill. He, as you're gonna see, at least it's gonna confirm. What's that? Yeah, behind you. He doesn't die right here. There's no way. He doesn't die right here. It's too early in the movie. There's something behind you. <laughs> oh my. F ah! What is it? They grabbed me. They were near me. You tried to pull me under. And of course I doesn't see it. Of course he doesn't see it. That's just a bite mark. He bit me the side just like he did Janet. Dude, Ed has to see something here. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like this. Uh, oh, it's a retainer. What the fuck? Yeah, it's gonna match her bite mark, huh? Uh, yep. Bill's fucking retainer. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a Christmas movie. Who would have thought? Don't you see it? Mm, no. In the kitchen. Hiding in the top. Johnny, don't go! Remember what Mr. Warren said? We can't let bully us. Okay, okay, I, I agree, I agree, but like Johnny. Oh, damn. What's the matter? What's happened? Janet's gone! She oh. was just right here! Oh, she teleported. <gasps> no. oh, yeah. oh. Johnny! Yep, yeah, kick that shit. Sucks as a, it's a pool to open. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, Johnny's never facing his bully ever again. He's good. <laughs> One guardian Livios. <laughs> oh damn! Oh oh, she's all distorted. Oh oh. Mate, mate. Yeah, how do you get out of here? It's okay, come on, come on. Oh, was her body distorted? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It looked like it was. So, what's here? She's faking it. Oh my god. What? How do you explain the kitchen? Now? What? Oh my. No. Dude, how do you explain her throwing the fucking cabinet then? You can't explain that. It's her body doing it, but it's Bill possessing her making it, whatever. Yeah, he feels stupid because that's what he picked up. Now they're all gonna be out, but Ed and Lorraine, they're gonna they're gonna have a hunch feeling, being like, no, we have to stay. But everyone else is out. Have you seen it in there? How could a 12 year old girl throw a table across a room? It's, it's over. Do you understand? For the sake of your daughter, don't make this harder than it already is. You believe us, don't you? We want to help. Oh, but the church will take one look at that video and that'll be the end of it. I'd like you to leave, please. Oh. Now go and get out. Now, nah, Ed and Lorraine, they're coming back. You know, make contact with it yourself. I can't. Mm -hmm. he believe me, I tried. He wants to believe. I'm sorry, I'm just not sensing anything here. You might want this. And, and just because she faked it this once doesn't change the no, fact. No, it changes everything. Him. You've done really good work here, Morris. Damn. You were here for them when no one else was. He wanted to believe it, too. He wanted to prove it. I like Morris. But sometimes you need to make a leap of faith. Believe when nobody else will. Mm-hmm. Trust her gut. Damn, that's crushing for Janet, too. Janet opened up to them. And they're leaving her. They don't believe her. Damn, Janet's like, come back. Dude, you can just take one look at her and you know she's not bluffing. This doesn't feel right. Yes. I know. It said it would kill you if I didn't make them leave. Mmm, okay. Yeah. No. Ah. Cross. Help! It like go go. Oh God! Help me! It won't let me go. Oh! It won't let me go. Ah. Oh! Fuck, Lorraine! 
Jane. Wait, has Bill been crying for help this entire time? So Bill's possessing Janet, crying for help. Oh, that's crazy. Wait, I, I don't understand. I, please, I. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is happening? Yeah, that nun won't leave her alone. The old man's spirit is just a pawn. He's been enslaved to where he used to weaken Janet's will. Enslaved? Enslaved by who? Like Something nun. inhuman. Where he leaves, we need to go back. Yep. <laughs> Finally, the reporter, Mr. Groove, I hope he doesn't come back. At the end of this movie, when everything's resolved, I just want him to see everything and just, just smile and know that his daughter's reaching out to him. You know, that would be said. I feel like that'd be a good ending for him. Dude, she looks like the exorcist. Not as like form though, but close. So what do you do now? An inhuman spirit powerful enough to cloud the rain sight is more than a match for me. We need to get Janet to the church before it kills her. We need home field advantage. <laughs> Dude, just break the window. Dude, Ed is so persistent. No, no, wait, they're gonna kill Ed. This is, oh no. Ed, hun, wait right there. Wait, Vic will be right back. I can't, can't wait. wait. Can't. I'm going on ahead. No, yep. Ed, don't. Stop. She needs our help. Ed, please, please, just wait for me. Mm-hmm. Can't lose you. I know, but I have to help her. Mm. But I have to do this. Oh. I love you, Lorraine. Yeah, he's going. Oh, no! no. Oh. Ah, the steam. Ed, you should have waited. Oh, God. The void vision's gonna get me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Body retro Satana. What's your name? That's like a, I know what you did last summer reference, I feel like. I do know your name. I asked you. You told me your name. Oh, she wrote it down. I need my Bible. Velik. Oh, damn. Bro, what the fuck? I thought God was on our side. <gasps> no, that's what's gonna kill him! No! No! Dude, take that tree branch and fucking throw it. I know the demon summoned that lightning, but like, that's like a power God would have. But okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, he can't see. Uh, oh. Dude, I how he's like stop motion. Reminds me of like the night before Christmas. Janet? Oh god, wait, what if she jumps out onto the spike? Oh, oh no! No, it's gonna do it! But it's gonna be good! Dude, just take Janet and throw her to the side! Valak. And I do know your name! You are Valak! The Defiler! The Profane! The Marquis of Snakes! Okay, but did it work? No! 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 Okay. Check on her. Janet? Oh my god. Is she alright? Oh okay, I, I didn't die. Okay. You know, this has kept me safe since I was a kid. I was gonna give it to her. I want you to have it. Ah, oh, that means he's gonna die in the next movie, though. All right, it's confirmed. He's dying in the next one. You find someone who needs it, you give it to them. You said one person could change everything. I've got two. Oh, bro, you can't tell me she doesn't look and sound like Emma Roberts, Emma Watson too. Sorry. Uh, she passed away. Oh, I'll sit in the chair of the living room. <laughs> Forty years earlier, wow. Okay, fuck. 
Oh yeah, for his collection. Oh god, the Annabelle's all. Mm, you didn't play it. No one played that. Oh, she did. All right, let's have a nice Steve Rogers Peggy Carter ending here, and then just roll credits. All right, that was The Conjuring 2. Oh, we did it. We made it through the movie. Dude, I, I'm gonna be honest. I like the 30. I like the 35, 40 minute mark. I, I almost, almost said I'm watching this tomorrow. I don't care. Almost made an audible on it. I'm happy I didn't. We made it through. Honestly, after the first hour, okay, things are really calmed down. That's when I was like, okay, okay, I, this is watchable now. Okay. I actually appreciate the movie for doing that. The movie kept up the same intensity the entire time. I don't know if I could have made it through it. I don't think so. I think there's a good chance I would have turned this off and went the bed and woke up and did it in the morning but okay i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you right now yeah the first hour 100 percent way more terrifying than the, the first movie when bill was behind the tv and he was like this is my house oh the way shit would just appear closer i don't do i don't know why but like that sounds stupid when i say it like oh my god that scared the shit like with the chair and the, just the kids like just appearing in frame oh my god the movie did a phenomenal job job with that and like the jump scare in the tent it's like the little boy probably like the best a jump scare has ever gotten me I'm, I'm gonna be honest i don't think i've ever like flinched harder than anything else actually no we, no the only thing that made me flinch harder than that was when I was like seven, my brother was like, hey, come here, I wanna show you something. And I was like, I was like, okay, sure, what is it? A lot of you will know what this is. Do you guys remember the scary maze? Do you remember that shit? Yeah, me fucking too. My brother was like, yo, just play this game really quick. And I was like, okay, sure. Like I fucked up a couple of times because I'm like seven. And then he, <laughs> I'm like looking this close at it. Dude, oh my God. I still remember that shit to this day. And then he got me with like that commercial or whatever, where it's like the car driving or something. And then the, the thing pops up at like the very end. Oh, that got me too. So good. That was pretty sure that was a commercial for something, but he played it on YouTube back in like the OG days of YouTube when it was just shit like that and like cat videos. <laughs> no, and then since I knew about it, we got my cousin on. <laughs> I don't think she's forgiven us for that yet, to be honest. Like she'll still bring it up to this day. But anyway, but yeah, I would say the jump scares in this movie are bet. Well, actually, dude, the one jump scare in the first movie where the mom's like standing in the doorway and all the pictures fall in the hallway, that one got me really fucking good too. That one, I don't know, both of them are really good. So I would say throughout this movie, this movie's probably scarier. Mm, actually, nah, because like honestly, the nun, the nun part wasn't really that scary. Like I was just like, yeah, whatever. Like I was more like thrilled for what was going on with like Lorraine and like what was going on with her. But like in turn, like I wasn't really scared. Like the they got me good at the end though. Like when she put the hand on Bill, that got me. But besides that, like the nun. Eh. but dude shout out to the actress playing janet she did she did a phenomenal job in this like i was buying i i bought all of her emotion i was i felt so bad for her i could just like she portrayed it so well you, oh wait you know i just realized they didn't show the news guy he never got like his closure knowing it was all real so like his daughter was actually talking to him and reaching out like i said earlier that would have been a really good like ending like just throw that in there at the end like he sees it and he's like He's just like, damn, that was her, you know? That would have been pretty cool, I think. But, okay, I'm kind of shocked. Nobody died in this one, too. I had had the necklace that was protecting him, and but he passed it down to Janet. So, pretty sure there's a third conjuring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, con the conjuring, the devil made me do it. Okay, so there's a third one. Ed's probably gonna die in that one, to be honest. Actually, I don't think a single person has ever died in the movie so far. Yeah, no one died in the first one either, so, so far in two movies, no one's died. Okay, well, maybe not then. But honestly, I'm happy I didn't die. I'm so happy he didn't die. Like, yeah, whenever Ed and Lorraine were on screen, I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I felt safe with them, to be honest. I was like, okay, okay, I feel good. But when it, but in the beginning, when it was just a family in the house, I, it was a fucking free-for-all at that point. And you know what? I'm actually really excited to go and watch other people's reaction to this movie now. I want to see them get. I want to see these jump scares get them so bad. I did it with the first Conjuring too. Like when I finished it, I watched the reactions to it, and oh, oh my god, they were so good. So I can't wait to do it for the second one now. But yeah, that was the Conjuring too. Comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.